It's over an hour, Commander. Cranter should have delivered Dockley by now. Crantor doesn't have Dockley. He was lying. I don't understand. Crantor had planted a bug on Travis. Do you, Jarrier? Do you see it all? <laughs> that pathetic little ploy was just an attempt to gain time while his men find Dockley. Oh, I see. He overheard everything that went on in this room. Oh, yes, but... Um... He overheard us planning to use Travis to kill Dockley. Um, Cranto doesn't want Dockley killed until he's learned what secret he carries. Exactly. <laughs> it's a risk, Sir Beam Commander. Suppose Travis doesn't get to Dockley first. I want Travis killed. Because that will establish, beyond doubt, Crantor's intentions. But if that's what you expected... Not just expect, Jarrier. He probably won't. Crantor will try to kill him. Ah, you mean... Uh, I'm not following. Crantor has Travis killed to protect Dockley. However, that knowledge can bring about his death. Not only that. With any luck, the Federation will be finally convinced, as I have argued for years, that we can no longer tolerate this pestilential rat hole so close to our own territories. Now do you see? <laughs> the secret of Star One's location is of no use to a criminal like Crantor. Later he will send us Dockley's body. It will be obvious that he has extorted the secret of Star One. Therefore, Crantor himself will be placed on the Council's death list. Freedom City will be finally burnt up. And this was all in your mind before we came here, Supreme Commander. Even then, it won't go wrong. You see, I've allowed for that possibility too, Jerry. All that can go wrong, Excellency, is if Travis eludes Prentice's men and reaches Dockley. Eradicating this planet has long been in my mind, Jarrier. Events and Crantor have played into my hands. Then 